Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling Guy Smith, and you guys are watching All in Wrestling. So you know what? I know this video is actually my SmackDown video. I know it's been a long time, guys, because I really haven't been paying attention to SmackDown because of a lot of stuff has happened to it. And I gotta say, it wasn't bad. Um, I did like the Biggie uh, versus Apollo Crews match, but I already got a feeling he's not really gonna drop the title unless there's a reason to drop it. And that's kind of my like my prognosis on that situation because I like Apollo Crews in general, Az Azir. Like he's a good guy. I just think that Biggie's gonna end up winning the title at Backlash. That's just my thought to it because the thing is, I look at like I look at other people. This is the thing I like about Raw. Raw kind of gave me a lot of depth. Like here's the thing: Raw gave me a little bit more less depth than SmackDown did. Like NXT gave me a lot of. A lot of storylines and a lot of a lot of answers, but no questions. SmackDown kind of gives me more questions than answers. The reason why I'm saying it because even with the Roman, even like with Paul Heyman, and they did the interview with him, and he said, "Can Daniel Bryan do it?" Yes, he's done it before. He's pulled off. He's the miracle case. Should never been the business. Like I love that he kind of played yes, yes, no, no type of thing, but. This is the thing I was sitting there thinking about with Roman Reigns. I think the only person that's really deserving probably going to end up beating him for the title would probably be Kevin Owens or Cesaro or Steph Rollins because they're not really trying anything with him. They're not really trying nothing with him. And the thing is, it's like, I kind of want Cesaro to be champion because he's been ready. He he won his first WrestleMania match in a while, and he, was a, he wasn't a main event guy. He was a mid-carder. He went from being a mid-carder to a main event guy, and he's the guy that kind of, I think he can do it because here's the thing, guys. Daniel Bryan, I'm not even mad that he lost because we already knew this wasn't going to be an easy, even if he did win. He wouldn't. He wasn't gonna do it. He even said in an interview, "I'd rather be at NXT." He wants to go to NXT. He really didn't get to experience NXT when he was there anyway. And this is like when it was becoming into like what it was today, like after the reality show kick. Because here's the thing: Daniel Bryan is a great dude, and the only way I think he's probably gonna end up beating him, or he might go heel to end up beating him, but I don't really think that's gonna happen. Because Cesaro, because the thing is, he's going after Roman, he's going after Jay, and I kind of want Cesaro to be that dude. Because I feel like if he takes on, he's always been wanting to fight Roman. So I'm thinking this is the perfect chance for them to push, pull the trigger on Cesaro, because this dude's been there for 10 years. And I kind of knew he's been there, because he's, I've known, I know his victories, bro. He he won like the Andre doing like three years in a row, four years in a row. And the thing is, they they have never put, they have never really given him a shot to really become a like a single champion. They made him a tag champion. They've made him like triple crown cha uh, tag champion, but never like single crown. And I really think they should have really should have done more with him because he's he's got the strength, he's got the charisma, he's got the way he wants to do something. He kind of wants to do something, and I see it. You know, I kind of see it in a way that. They kind of, this is what I really feel like they should do next week. I really think that Cesaro should beat Seth because once he beats Seth, he can be like, you know what, Roman? I challenge you at Backlash. They should do a title match at Backlash. Because here's the thing. Roman is a great guy, but he's got an Achilles heel. And Dan Bryan is showing it to him. A thousand times. And here's the thing, guys. Like, I don't, I don't hate the idea, but I think Cesaro is ready. I think he's ready than he's ever been. I think they've really have just squandered. They've squandered him, and there's so many people on that uh, on SmackDown that I I can't see beating Roman except for Cesaro and Seth. I I could see Kevin Owens doing it. I could even see Jay doing it if they give Jay, if they even pull the trigger with Jay. But I don't really think they're gonna pull the trigger with him because I think they're gonna be so caught up in making that dude the right hand man, and I feel like that's all he does. That's all he's ever. That's like that's all he's ever doing. It's the same thing with Sami Zayn trying to help out Apollo Cruz. He's always being the swarmy. He's like being the heelish swarmy dude that we know he can be. But the thing is, it took him what five years to become heel. Six, seven years, eight, and they're not even trying with the guy. And if I was, and then this thing, if I was WWE, I would have been tried with this dude. I would have figured something out with him. I should have, like, and that's the thing. Jay Uso is never going to be main event Jay. 
He's never going to be main event guy. He's like, Roman's a great dude, but that's all he's all he's going to end up doing. He's going to probably end up getting beat for the Universal title. Because the thing is, everybody wants it. So you got all these dudes who want to step up to challenge you. And if you beat everyone, who are you going to take on? Rock? If he even decides to come back? And the thing is, they can't even figure they can't even figure out in their mind how they're really gonna do it because the thing is, they don't know what they want to do. They're literal dummies because if they if they knew what they wanted, then they'd probably be okay. I wouldn't mind it if they weren't trying to get if they weren't trying to push the dude to make him a champion. I would have been fine with that, but they don't. They don't even know how to book this dude. They don't even know how to give him a solid booking. And that's the sad part. Because Jey Uso is a guy who's got tremendous charisma, tremendous wrestling ability. What ends up happening to him, he ends up being right-hand man. And that dude is never, he is never going to become a, a single champion. Because you know why? Because even if even if Roman said, you know what, Jey, why don't you go after the Intercontinental, Intercontinental Champion? Never even suggested it. Paul Heyman is the special counsel. He's a manager. He could have suggested that to Jay. But no, they don't even want to give that dude a title at all. They want him to be the right man, the right hand, the right hand Joe. And I don't understand that. I don't. I don't, bro. Like, I'm sad, but I, 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 I just don't. Even with SmackDown tonight, I kind of figured he was going to be there. And this is what I mean. SmackDown was great, guys, but it really it's really just leaving the question. It's really leaving the hanging question. Who's going to be Roman Reigns? And I think Cesaro's going to be the guy. He's going to beat the guy. And and if he be the if he's the guy that they need, then they need to put him. They need to start pushing that dude and putting him in more matches. Like he needs to be on Roman's tail. He needs to be on his coattails. He needs to start whooping this dude's butt. He needs to. Because I'm tired. I don't mind having Roman as a universal champion, but I'm tired of seeing the same thing that happens to the guys that can be universal champion. And either Kevin Owens is going to end up messing with Apollo Crews, which I don't mind them him doing that, or even with Sammy. I don't mind that rivalry, but we've seen it a billion times before. We've seen it when he was when Sammy was the face and and, and and Kevin was the heel. We've seen it in NXT. We've seen it all over the world. And they don't even know what they want to give that dude anything. And the sad part, they could take Finn, but they're not going to bring Finn back in this. They're not going to put him on SmackDown because he's happy in NXT. And this is what I mean. This is what I've been saying for the longest time. They really want to make Roman, and I think it's because Vince loves Roman. Vince loves stroking that dude's ego, and I swear to God, if next year we don't get a new champion, I'm done. I'm being honest with you guys. I don't mind having Roman. This is not a rant video. I don't mind having Roman, but this is the thing I don't understand. Y'all put Daniel Bryan in a match with this dude. You gave him another championship match. You gave this dude another one, even though he didn't even deserve it. You gave it to him because, you know what, why don't we just send Brian? You could have retired him already. He's already won. He's already broke the record. What do you want from that dude? You put him on a heel run. He still couldn't do that for you. And that was bad. You put him against the Fiend. What happens? Oh, dude gets beat up by the Fiend, comes back as re, his, his new drag, his redragon self, with his 2012 self, which doesn't work. And the sad part is, even if they decide to do something with him on Raw, where is he really going to go? They're not going to do anything with him. Better yet, he might become Universal Champion. I mean, better yet, he might be United States Champion, and that's all he's going to get on Raw. Because they're not going to have any storylines ideas for him. Because they're going to be so caught up in Drew and Bobby. Drew, Bobby, and Stru- and, and Braun that they're going to have to come up with something for him. And even if they did, they got to put him against Sheamus, which what? Then then Matt Riddle's going to do something? Then he's going to make Matt Riddle do something? And maybe fight Randy Orton? But they're probably going to end up doing something with him, even if he decides to go to Raw? Because I swear to God, Adam Pearce is probably going to call him. 
This is what I mean. I was like, Raw, SmackDown was great, but this is what I, this is what I really wanted to talk about in the, fr- the fate of Daniel Bryan is that he can't, he's not gonna, he's not coming back to SmackDown. He'll probably end up going to Raw if he's got no other choice because he's gonna want to become champion. At he's probably gonna go after Bobby's his championship. But why would you do it? Like, dude, you couldn't even win at WrestleMania, and you tried. And this is the thing I was saying with, with tonight. I don't mind Roman taking on dudes and doing the promo thing. But if this is what we've been getting, this is the thing. And I usually won't say this, but we've been, I don't like him as a heel, but we get this dude throwing down our necks every time. He keeps getting stuffed in our throats. Like, we don't need this dude. We really don't. He's worse than Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar was a part-timer being a dummy. And this dude wanted more money. And what does this dude get? Oh, let me just make him a heel. Make him a bad guy. Give him a championship. And that dude's going to become unstoppable. Really? That's what we've been getting from this guy? That's what we've been getting. That's all we get every year, guys. I'm being honest. That's all we ever get. It was like the last... Just like when... When 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 Brock used to come when Brock won the thing the you know the U.S. the um the WWE title until Drew dethroned him, he kept getting stuffed down our throats, and when Roman actually finally won, he got hurt. He his his battle with leukemia came back. So pretty much, so if we get him again, it's gonna be the same thing in twenty twenty one. They don't even know what to do with Roman Reigns, and I'm sorry. Because they need to give him Cesaro. Cesaro needs to boost that dude's career because he's not going to be able to. Because even if somebody, like, Cesaro is going to pull it off. Cesaro is not going to give up. He's not like Daniel Bryan. He's not going to give up. You're going to have to really beat that dude down to get him. And Jay just coming out of, like, in this thing, he almost, he beat, he, 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 he gave it to Roman. He stood tall against him. Jay would have came out. I think Jay should have came out from the side. He should have came out from the barricade and got him. But that's just that's just me. It's like I said, guys. I'm not saying I don't mind Roman, but yo, it, this is what I mean, guys. That's all we get. We get him throwing down our throats. That's why I stopped watching the main roster. Because we get the same people that should have been champion, or better yet, they don't even want to elevate these dudes even a little bit. And it's gonna be really sad. And Monday is going to be even worse. And I'm just going to give you a prediction for Monday. Because I'm telling you, what's going to happen on Monday? Adam Pierce is going to be mad at Sonya Ville for the Charlotte thing. Because he was. Charlotte's going to end up getting a title match at Backlash. Because that's going to happen too. Asuka's going to have to beat Charlotte and beat Rhea to retain. Even if she does win the belt, Rhea's going to want another championship shot. So that's going to be another rivalry too. Which is going to be a good one, but Charlotte's going to keep interfering. And on top of that, even if they decide to do something for Backlash, they're literally not giving everybody anything. So even with SmackDown, Roman's probably like, you know what, I'll take off Backlash, or if Cesaro can't beat me, I'll have to give him a title. He's going to beat Seth anyway, so they might as well just give him a title shot. But like I said, guys, SmackDown was really good. I just, this is the thing, I'm just, t- I really just didn't really like the Roman ring because it's like, Putting that as a main event was stupid. I really thought it should have just been like at a backlash more, like at a pay-per-view more than on, on a regular, on a SmackDown, because he's the thing. And the amount of time they were trying to push that dude, and I really think it was like more than a few. It should have been like at least a five-minute match, but it went on to be an hour. And the thing is, Cesaro could have been, that's the thing, they should have let Cesaro take on him. Because he's. I know he's going to go to Adam Pearce next Friday, and he's going to ask him, hey, can I go against Roman? But anyway, guys... Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.